A good day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. So I just recently received update 36.3, and no more than a day or two later, I received another update, 36.10. And of course, this is not anything unusual. Typically, we see these as just standard bug fixes where there's nothing else in the release note stating that there was any specific update except for this time. Now we have an update that will allow the car to stay in the passing lane or not exit the passing lane. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was taught to drive, it was always about making sure that you're not just standing or driving in the passing lane without passing, right? That's the whole just behind a passing lane. So I'm not quite sure what the I'm not quite sure why Tesla released this update, but it does work. I've tried it a couple times now, and we will do so um, in just a few moments here on the expressway to show you that, yep, when you are navigating autopilot, what typically happens is, you know, if you're in the, let's say, middle lane, you have to get over to the left lane to pass somebody. The car should, and typically does a really good job of getting over after you pass that car back into the middle lane, so now the passing lane is free for others to do the same thing, right? That's the whole idea behind a passing lane. So I'm not quite sure, and if you know something that I am missing here, comment down below and let me know. But yes, you can turn on a feature to not exit the passing lane if you navigate into the passing lane to pass somebody. What I really wanted to go through in this update was the exit um, passing lane feature to see how well it works and really just to put this out there as to not understanding why Tesla would release a feature like this because I, I don't know if it's necessarily law it might be like a best practice um, but I think you can get pulled over if you are in the passing lane and not technically passing anybody or going at least the speed limit um, but if you are holding up traffic you can potentially get a ticket I'm not sure if that's the case in every state. Comment down below, let me know what you know about it. And uh, in here in just a moment, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. All right, so we're getting on the expressway and I just wanted to show you um, what the setting is right now. Oh, autopilot, customize, navigate on autopilot. And right now I have exit passing lane set to yes, because I wanna show you how it works first if you're not familiar with it, and then we'll go back in shut it off and then try everything again. I just hope traffic cooperates with me this morning and allows me to uh, pass somebody and boom, here we go. Let me kick up the speed here a minute because it's gonna take me a little bit to get over it looks like here. Traffic's going at a pretty good pace this morning. Now, there you go. So I didn't necessarily have to pass anybody the car is going to get over because it realized that, hey, um, you're not going to pass anybody. I'm going to get you back over into the non-passing lane. So that was perfect. All right. So now let's go back in. Settings, autopilot, customize autopilot, and exit passing lane set to no. So now we're just going to wait to get over. And you'll see that the car does not exit the passing lane it just sits here and will continue to drive at whatever speed you have it set at which is just really mind-boggling to me i don't know why tesla would release this feature but maybe you do so comment down below and let me know as soon as we get past these trucks there should be an opening up here that uh the car technically should get over in but it won't so I don't know about you guys, but I know if I'm driving in the passing lane, trying to get somewhere or trying to pass somebody, and there's somebody in the, the passing lane or the left lane that's not getting over, it's a little frustrating. So I'm not really sure what the purpose is of the feature, but I wanted to show you that it does work. And here it is, you can see behind me, I should be getting over, the car should have gotten over by now, but here I am just cruising in the passing lane. So there you have it folks that is the new tesla update 36.10 with the new feature no exit or exit the passing lane i don't know 
a little confused by it, but nonetheless, it does work. It works really well. But if you have a comment um, as to why you think Tesla released this software update just right after the initial, well, I'll just say right after most people started to receive 36.3, um, not really sure what the intended purpose of this update is, but nonetheless, it is a feature that we now have available to us if you decide that you do not want to exit the passing lane. So there you have it, folks. Nice little quick video for you. Please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. Take care. We'll catch you on the next one.